I just heard Wendy Williams tell Jay Z and Beyonce that if they don't want to stand for the national anthem, then they need to leave the country. That was the most irresponsible, cool, white supremacist influence bullshit that a black woman could ever say to another black person. What would make you say that? Do you understand how? Oh, the national anthem itself in its core is racist. It was built on a premise of racism and, and slavery. That the third stanza that we rarely ever say was built on racism and slavery. Was to talk about catching slaves and killing them. And you would tell a black person in America who was brought here in chains and shackles. Whose ancestors were brought here in chains and shackles. With no, with, by no, um fault of their own no would be on their will and you would tell them if they don't like the national anthem and they need to leave you can't be serious like you don't said some bullshit wendy like you said a bunch of you said some dumb shit and we laugh and you know we understand you have your opinion but this right here is irresponsible and the fact that you have such a a white base who listens to you is pandering and is bullshit and I would and I'm not mad and I'm not opposed to telling us that we definitely I see there's a, a petition going around to get you fired. And I'm not opposed to that. At this point when you use your platform against your own people then we, we don't need to stand with you anymore. When you use your voice to mute the protest of somebody, Cali Kaepernick took a knee to highlight the injustices that happen in, inside of America. The lack of Responsibility, the lack of value for black bodies in this country. And Jay Z and, and, and Beyonce continue that process. And you have the audacity to tell them to leave this country as a black woman. That's what you want to say. That's what you want to utilize your platform and your voice. After we put you in those positions, you want to utilize your black platform with your black voice voice to talk about how black people should leave this country. You don't lost your black, black mind. You're out of here. What's good, everybody? It's Jay Carfee Talk. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Now you hear that there. That's my sign. And let's break all this down. Let's let's speak on all this. A lot going on here. Now, my son is very upset with Wendy Williams. Uh, Wendy Williams, you know, had some things to say about Jay-Z and Beyonce. Now, uh, first off, I like my son, man. This dude, you know, uh, he did a prison bid when he was really starting to get momentum in the hip hop world. And, you know, he came home and, you know, jumped right back into rapping and then, you know, decided I need to, you know, help make some positive change out here. And he does a lot of good work, I believe. Get in the comments. Let me know your feelings on my son. Now, check it out. Um, with what uh, Wendy Williams is saying, you know, she's she's questioning Jay-Z and Beyonce, like, um, as Americans, like, maybe you guys should just leave. You don't want to stand during the national anthem. Um, Jay-Z, you think you're like a big shot. You're not an NFL owner. You you have a partnership deal with them. You need to slow down. Um, America may not be perfect, but I'd rather be here than anywhere else. You know, things of that nature. Now, something that my son said there was um, he, he said that like, you know, Jay and Beyonce, um, it, it sounded almost like he was saying, you know, that what they want to do as far it sounded almost like he was saying that they were protesting i don't know maybe i uh, took that in wrong i don't know but if you guys didn't catch my last video which i'm gonna pin in the comments go back and check that video out where jay-z is saying that him and beyonce not standing uh during the super bowl national anthem wasn't any kind of protest they just were caught up in you know the work that they were doing with the nfl making sure that the show was going on right when the national anthem was going on, he was checking everything out from a presentation level and just like forgot to stand. You know, um, that's what Jay's saying. I don't know. I believe him. 
I believe him, right? Like, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I just, like, I, I don't understand. You know, if Jay-Z wanted to protest, I, I believe he would have protested and said, hey, I'm protesting. Why would he, like, do it, but then, you know, give an excuse? Like, it just it just doesn't really make any sense, you know? But um, as far as all this, uh, let's talk about Wendy Williams a little bit. I don't really, you know, rock with Wendy Williams. I'm not a Wendy Williams fan. You know what I'm saying? My son is accusing her here of, you know, um, her comments being a white supremacist influenced. And um, I don't know, you know, Wendy Williams, she just likes to do her. Like I said, I'm not really a fan of her stuff. Um, in the past, I'll tell you something that I was very like when i seen i was like whoa um she found out some information a while back years back i believe this was about method man's wife that was very private and personal to him and meth was very upset and it was in poor taste and um you know that along we seen that you know wendy williams um if you remember when she malfunctioned you know what i'm saying i got the internet buzzing with the conspiracy theories and things of that nature with the mk ultra you know what i'm saying when she fell out with the halloween edition with the with the um statue of liberty outfit on like wendy williams was out here going hard on them drugs sniffing coke um you know we seen where she came out recently and admitted it i believe you know she went to rehab i believe um she she her her baby's dad or her man or something was messing around on her i believe he had a baby outside of their relationship you know what i mean like wendy williams been a mess um i don't know if things are going better for her right now but my point is is um the way she's getting in on that whole conversation with jay-z slamming them telling them to maybe leave the country like yo wendy chill out like i don't even believe that's the kind of things you cover or or what you know what i mean like you just want a big headline which she's getting in this uh situation it seems i don't know if it's getting a lot of coverage but that's all that wendy williams is after in my opinion you know what i mean she's not um someone who's political or for any causes or anything like that that's how i feel you know what i mean um i'm not trying to just shit all over wendy williams i'm just saying Wendy Williams ain't really moving like that. You know what I mean? That's not how she uses her platform, I don't think. And, you know, um, I see why my son's mad. I do. You know what I mean? Because my son is moving around on a different level, uh, trying to make change, trying to inspire and motivate people to do better. But at the same time, he is trying to show the flaws in the American system. You know how things are not fair and people have not been treated right and that's very true something that he spoke about about the national anthem okay um it being made during a time when this country was very racist um is very very true right america has a very dark twisted history um you know a lot of evil terrible things happen in this country and something that he said i don't know like check, i don't know if any of y'all mess with joe rogan right but joe rogan did a stand-up where he came out and said hey um if the founding fathers came back to life and popped back up on us the first thing they would say is you guys didn't write any new stuff you're still going by all the same things like it's a very good point um not just the fact that the country was racist a lot of other things you know what i'm saying like the world what i'm the point that i'm trying to make is that the world was a totally different place this country was a different place the times were different things are obsolete after 10 years or so and need to be revisited and changed you know what i'm saying so i get uh what he's saying the fact that what uh you know uh, this country stands on maybe things need to be changed uh, I mean, or they do things to be mo need to be modernized and changed. But um, I don't know. Like, what do you guys feel about all this? Uh, the protesting and everything like that. Like, I kind of liked what Jay Z said. How you know the protest was done. Now let's uh, take action. You know what I'm saying? I, I I was rocking with that. But um, I don't know, man. Like, th there's just a lot going on here, and um, it's just kind of wild though. Like I said, that my son is is uh going at wendy williams who's slamming jay-z and them and then like i said jay and them are saying yo it, we're sorry it, dude we didn't even like that's not even what happened we were caught up in the show 
we're sorry. We did, you know what I mean? Like we we didn't mean to not stand during the national anthem. You feel me? So I don't know a uh, whole lot going on here, but I just wanted to share this uh, with you guys and see what the people think about this because that's what this channel is all about. As I always state, if you're new to my channel, Jay Coffee Talk, it's all about hearing what the people got to say. So make sure you get up in the comments and share your thoughts on this topic as well as all the topics on this channel that's what we do over here so make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell we cover music sports news current events life and much much more i thank you guys so much for watching let's talk about this in the comments man what do y'all think i'm out of here peace